Okay, booktube, welcome back. We are back. I know I've been slow on videos recently because I've been reading a book that's possibly the worst book of all time. Probably not the worst book of all time, but definitely one of the worst that I've read so far. And the review for that is coming, and it's going to be a good one, so stay toasty for that. But for now, we are going to start looking at September, the month ahead. This previous book that I mentioned, I only bring it up because it destroyed my whole reading month of August. And I only managed to read that and only finish it today, and it's, what a disaster. But, here's the kicker. September turns out to be my month, you see, because it's the start of what is known as Sci-Fi September, which is a challenge created by Becky Bookworm. I'll link her channel in the description. Now, Sci-Fi September. I'm a big sci-fi guy. It's September. This is it. We're doing it. So, Becky has out five challenges, basically, for you to do. Uh, and you have to read science fiction for the whole month, which won't be difficult because, as I say, one of my favourite genres, if not the favourite genre. Now, I've decided to implement a, a secondary rule on myself that I can only use a book for one challenge because the first book on my list here actually satisfies three challenges. So... You know, there's that. Um, that. That would be cheating. So I've picked five books. We're going to go through them. I'm looking over here because that's where the computer screen is. And now we're going to go right into the list. So number one is a book with a f strong female protagonist. Now we all know how I feel about strong female protagonists. Women that stab people in the face are definitely the best. That's what makes people strong, don't you know? But I've decided to go for a different tack and go for someone who's probably more morally and emotionally strong. I've gone with The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Now, if Offred is actually a, a shit female protagonist, do let me know before I get to it and I'll pick a different book. But I guess it's hard to judge if a female protagonist is strong until you've read the book because you don't know how, how good it is. Unless your only criteria for strong is how much they can bench lift. Bench press, whatever, whatever that word is. I'm not a bodybuilder. So I picked The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. You've probably all heard of it. It's about a society where women are forced to breed and shit and be miserable and it's oppressive and it's a famous work of science fiction. Now this book satisfies three criteria because it's got a strong female protagonist, it's written by a woman and before the year 2000, I'm pretty sure, um... Maybe it was written in the year 2000. Oh my god! And no, 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 no. The blind side is winner. No, I don't think it was. I think this is pre 2000. I hope. But whatever. Doesn't matter because it's only being used for this one challenge. Time wasted. YouTube Live, everyone. Right, book two on our list is the challenge is a book set on the moon. Now, from the videos I've watched, of this challenge people had a really hard time with this one but I found it incredibly easy because the title gives the game away doesn't it I've picked the moon is a harsh mistress by Robert A Heinlein it's about people having shit lives on the moon I guess so again I don't really read too much of blurbs and maybe that maybe I should I should do my research before I talk about books but it's called the moon is a harsh mistress that's got to be set on the moon doesn't it if it's not, I'm going to be really fucking upset. Uh, da -da -da -da. Political dissidents and convicts live on colonies on the moon. So it could potentially end up being a bit like Proxima, which I reviewed, but hopefully not crap. Um, Robert A. Heinlein, of course, wrote Starship Troopers, which I really liked. So maybe this will be good as well. So let's, let's, please, please let books be good this month. I've had enough of reading crap books. Number three. A book with a spaceship on the front cover. This has more than one spaceship on the front cover. This is actually a new release as well. It's called Numenon. You can see that just about. There you go. So it's Numenon, written by Maria, Marina J. Lostetter. From what I gather, uh, I have actually researched this one. This is actually a new release. As you can see, it's in hardback. I don't normally buy hardback unless it's new. Um, so this book basically is about a... 
again, like Proxima, Proxima continues to be a theme in my life, it seems. But like Proxima, this is about a group of people, as a scientist, that want to explore a new galaxy and colonise new space. Um, but unlike Proxima, where they discovered like faster than light technology that let them do this, uh, these people <laughs> have decided to go the, the more crazy route and clone themselves along the way like they want the original people to make it to the moon to the, the, the moon to the new uh, galaxy so they set off in their colony ship and along the way as they get older or i guess mishaps happen to them they clone themselves and i think the premise is that the clones become less and less like as their original dna is continuously replicated they're born again and again into a thousand new lives blah 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 so I'm, I think, I think what happens is that as they continue to clone themselves, um, they become less and less like the original, and it's probably all going to go horribly wrong, possibly to the point where, in the end, they don't even know why they're there. Um, so that could be very interesting. Looking forward to reading that one. Number four, a book written by a woman. I've got another one. I've got that's so far. I've got two books there written by women. Um, so I think I'm actually doing really well in in my diversity checklist this month so next book this makes it number three from written by a woman is the rift by nina allen this is a book about uh two sisters as they well, let's just read a little bit of this for you shall we selena and julia sisters as sisters as children they were closest companions but as they grow towards maturity a rift develops between them there are greater rifts however julie goes missing at the age of 17 it will be 20 years before selena sees her again when julie reappears she tells selena an incredible story about how she has spent time on another planet selena has an impossible choice to make does she dismiss her sister as a damaged person the victim of delusions or believe her and risk her own sanity in the process is julie really who she says she is and if she isn't what does she have to do by claiming what does she have to gain by claiming her sister's identity so there you go it's about a girl that vanishes and then comes back and says she's now an alien and it could all be a lie but it could be really cool so the rift by nina allen book written by a woman doing it good stuff right final book on the list a book written before the year 2000 uh again i think maybe I think the moon is a harsh mistress at least definitely fulfills this criteria but in the sake of completion we're going to go for a brand new book and that is ian m banks use of weapons this is the third in banks's uh culture universe um i've read the first two obviously this is the third one um it's about god knows banks is all very high concept it could be about anything it could be about board game space empires it could be about crazy ai fields it could be about wormholes it could be anything so i don't really know but i'm not going to bother reading the whole back again because it takes too long so use of weapons by ian m banks very exciting to get back into the Banksian universe. I've really been liking his stuff so far. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all of the challenges met. Now, I'm going to endeavour to make a review, obviously, of each and every one of those books. So hopefully, if all goes according to plan, you'll get five reviews out of me in September. Six, actually, if you include the uh, the fucking codswallop book that I've I've been reading throughout August, which I will, I'm definitely going to be reviewing that this month. So look forward to that. Um, I'm going to try and do more videos for you guys, and I've been quite neglectful of you all, and we've had quite a few new subscribers to the channel. So if you're new, welcome. If you've been around since the start, thank you for that. And um, hopefully you'll be seeing more of my baldy head very soon. See you next time.